Welcome to the Nightclub guys, it's your host, the Night Wrencher. Today we are looking at the CR Laser Falcon by Creality. This is a brand new model, I believe it was released just this month, if not only a few days ago. And although I'm not an expert on these kinds of tools, it seemed like a really fun item to have around the house. And maybe I can make some cool parts out of it. So this is a laser engraver, which means it takes an LED, a light emitting diode, and it focuses the light from that LED straight into whatever material it's either trying to cut or trying to burn an image to. These types of machines are well used by hobbyists in order to make custom art as well as create branding for several of their products. This particular machine is a new 10 watt power unit. It is made by Creality which is better known for their 3D printers. I personally have had really good experience with their 3D printers since we used to have one here at the house not too long ago and as far as I'm concerned the unit performed exactly as it was supposed to and I had no problems. Just like their 3D printers, this unit is running their proprietary drive, which uses a quiet running algorithm that allows the head to move freely forward, backwards, left and right in order to get a perfectly smooth image with almost a silent operation. This unit can travel zero to 20,000 millimeters per minute as its maximum speed. And this unit has a 400 millimeter by 415 millimeter working area, which is about 16 and a quarter by 16 and a half in American units. And you can also control the unit using software like Lightburn or Laser Gerbil. My favorite part about this is that you don't actually need a laptop constantly connected to the unit. You can have the unit in one room and your computer in another room if you don't mind a little bit of walking the SD card that comes with the unit is a lifesaver when it comes to these kinds of things. This tool gives you a 12 millimeter cutting depth, which is 1.2 centimeters. It also has a 0.6 millimeter precision tip that allows you to put in really fine detail. The beauty of that is that you can actually go and make really, really small images or really, really large images as long as you set up the settings properly on your computer. I'm planning to burn a couple images on anodized aluminum later on, but I'm barely getting my feet wet in learning this machine right now on just plain wood. Oddly enough, as soon as I finished editing this video the first time, my anodized parts actually got shipped in and I was able to burn in my channel logo onto these brand new parts. And I must say, although I'm not too good at making the images right now, it didn't come out half bad. So this machine is definitely user friendly. The assembly process was actually really simple. Everything can only go one way. So I do recommend you go through the manual at least once so that way you figure out what steps you need to make sure you take before you get to the later steps or else you're gonna be taking it apart two or three times like I did because like I said, it only goes on one way and if you skip a step or if you accidentally put the parts in the wrong areas, you won't be able to really go back and fix it. You're gonna to have to go all the way back to the beginning, take it apart and then move it the way you have to move it. I went ahead and used the factory Creality files that they gave us in this USB drive. It's supposed to come in every one of these units and it has two images, uh, the smaller one being the Creality logo and the bigger one being a nice cute little dog. The factory images are really nice because the laser will give you a preview path so it ensures that as soon as the laser starts cutting into the wood, you are centered on wherever you need to be. I tried making my own files, but I wasn't able to replicate that preview feature. It's either in the software that I'm using or in one of the settings that I forgot to click. Either way, I was still able to burn the images that I wanted to. I just had to play a little bit with where the laser was going to be positioned. One really nice feature about this engraver is that everything fits really, really nice. It almost has like a zero tolerance when I was assembling this, everything went exactly the way it needed to. And I actually had to take it apart twice because I ended up skipping some steps. And when I wanted to go back and redo it, uh, I was too late and I had to take it apart, move some things around and then go from there. I also had an issue with the laser. As you guys can see, it can move forward and back as well as left to right. And the problem that I was having is that this cable was actually wrapped around like toward over here somewhere. So when it tried to extend, it pulled on this cable and it wasn't able to reach all the way to the end. So you see these stops right here on the end of the rail and there's a micro switch on the end of the head. And when it reaches its maximum depth, it hits that micro switch and that's what tells the machine that it's at its maximum point. It has another micro switch on the far right over here and then that'll prevent the machine from hitting the base as well. 
A cool thing that they included was this USB drive and this allows you to install a micro SD card and then plug this into your computer, drop a file in, bring it back to the machine and then drop it into the Creality SD card slot. And what that allows you to do is transfer files that you have on the computer and then move them to another room wherever you have your machine. You don't necessarily have to have a laptop hooked up. If you do happen to have a laptop hooked up, what you can do is you can connect the laptop to the machine directly and you can actually move the head wherever you want to into the exact spot that it needs to be and you don't have to do any kind of preview or any kind of guessing in order to get the machine wherever you want it in order to engrave. I mentioned that we were able to burn through wood. You could also burn through leather. You can burn through different types of fabrics and you can even engrave in anodized aluminum. It can't necessarily cut through metal, but it can engrave through the anodized coating. So it'll burn the coating off and you'll be able to get your design on there that way. Setting up the laser distance is actually really easy. It comes with a special tool that you put under the laser and in between your material so you set your material down below the laser you undo the screws you set the spacer under the laser between the two parts then you tighten the two adjuster screws until they bottom out then you pull the spacer out and you are good to go it's essentially a three-step process this machine also works off of a one touch or single button operation, which means there's no other buttons to confuse you whenever it's time to actually do the engraving. You take your image from your computer, you put it on the SD card, you transfer that to the machine, you plug it in, you turn the machine on, the machine will zero itself out, and the machine will take the file that you have on the SD card and it'll start engraving right away. There's no other settings that you have to do directly on the machine. Although I'm still learning, I was able to print my own logo, both in a big size I was able to play with the Creality logo I played with the laser settings to see how deep I can go uh, apparently you can go pretty deep and it'll eventually cut through the wood if you let it and then I made this cute little dog and it actually went ahead and burned it and cut it pretty deep and then a little tiny logo of my channel right here in the back so it can get pretty precise. This one's about an inch wide by an inch tall and the clarity is really nice. So as soon as I can figure out how to do this on anodized aluminum, I'm going to be good to go and this is going to be really sweet. Overall, this is an incredibly powerful machine. I'm super excited to put this thing to work and make myself some custom stuff or at least to start off some decorations for my walls and then move on to more difficult processes from there. Like I said, this is a brand new machine, but I was able to get you guys a couple of coupon codes. Link to those are in the description down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Rancher, 